Thank Malak... I mean, thank Trinimac, you're back. Got another crisis for you. Interested? The market is the beating heart of the city. Our trade policies have brought wealth, yes, but there's no commerce without risk. Take this Khajiit Buraku. He peddles strange dwarven baubles. They seemed harmless enough, but now I'm not so sure. He says he uncovered some dwarf junk buried in the snow up north, and it led to something big. Nisja left, I think. Bah, dwarf mischief. Investigate the machines and take care of this thing he discovered. He's over there if you want more details. Don't hesitate to break those machines to pieces. This dwarven garbage is nothing but trouble. Make sure to speak to Buraku when you're done. He's anxious to close the book on this. The King's business. I serve the throne on matters of civic policy and urban development. When one of our citizens has a problem that threatens the public good, they come to me. Yes, exactly. This surprises you? Sending out the city guard is the Breton way, the high elf way. In Rothgar, we do for ourselves. I facilitate deals between private citizens, nothing more. We're all citizen soldiers. We should act like it. I knew Rothgar was dangerous, but giant metal men too? It is too much. Who is wishing to know? It's not my fault, Walker. Berku only poked the machines with a stick. And then... Oh, I'll course forgive me. No, Walker. The pain is still too near. This one needs more drink. Yes, another drink, and I will tell you my tale. Bah! This land freezes the heart and the purse strings. Fine, you can hear my tale for nothing. Happy? Berko and his friends came north in search of easy coin. This one heard that in Hrothgar, valuable dwarf craft can be found everywhere. Dead, buried in snow and blood. We found it while we were looking for dwarf metal to salvage, you see. The dwarf machine, half buried. We popped it with a stick, and the ground shook like a jackashit's rattle. Berko thinks that's what woke it up. The huge metal man! Nischaleft is its name. This one read about it in books. It killed Berko's friends, splashed their innards all over the snow. You must destroy it. This one's friends will still be dead, but maybe they will rest easier, yes? Let's go.
say to some celebratory sweets? These walls are incredible. Did you know this isn't the first city to bear the name Orsinium? Tamriel hasn't been very kind to the orcs. I wonder if it won't be the last. Hmm? Oh, it is you. You have been gone a long time. 
has been a long time, hasn't it? I'm sorry, Burko has been, you know, occupied. Were you successful? Is Nischalef destroyed? This one should feel relief, yes? But these machines are never truly dead, are they? What if Nischalef returns? Burko could not bear it if more explorers came to harm because of his stupidity. Burko will stay here to drink. I, I mean, keep watch. Thank Malak... I mean, thank Trinimac, you're back. Got another crisis for you. Interested? Orsinia may have started as a home for the orcs, but it's becoming a city of immigrants. More arrive by the hour, mostly by caravan. Unfortunately, the trip can be treacherous. Reeker attacks have increased tenfold since the king opened the borders. At first, robbery. But now they're abducting travelers and taking them off into the wilderness. That imperial caravaneer over there, Sonolia Muspidius, has leads on where. I'll mark the locations on your map. She's also identified their leader, King Chief Edu. Make sure to check in with Sonolia once you've dealt with those beasts. She'll want to know that her clients have been freed. I'm afraid those Reeker are at it again. You ready to teach them another lesson in manners? Someone sent out hundreds of letters inviting people from all over Tamriel to come to Orsinium, but didn't make certain there were escorts along the way. I'm doing my best, but people are still going missing. Huh. No. My soldiers and I are independent contractors. We guard many of the smaller caravans. Used to be mostly fresh produce and tools. Now we're shipping immigrants by the cartful. It's steady work. Lucrative, too, when it goes right. No. No, it's not. I've conscripted more guards than I ever thought I'd need, but the numbers are overwhelming. These immigrants are lining up by the hundreds. For the record, the vast majority of our clients arrive in Orsinium without incident. I'm afraid so. Look, no worthwhile endeavor comes without cost. There will always be dangers on the road. But these Reeker have got to be dealt with. I'd do it myself, but I need to look out for the rest of the caravans. Their chieftain, King Chief Idu, is the craftiest Reeker I've ever encountered. We're used to these brutes stealing goods and livestock, but kidnapping? It's remarkable, and completely unacceptable. Rescue the travelers and make those Reeker pay!
enough. I fight. I win. Actions now. <laughs> Thank the eight. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. Thank you, friend. I've seen a few bedraggled travelers stagger into the city. Muddy and bruised, but no worse for the wear. I suppose I have you to thank for that? Hmm. I'm grateful for your service, friend. I wish I could say with certainty that this won't happen again, but Reeker are stubborn brutes. I'm afraid we may call on you again before long. Farewell. Thank Malak... I mean, thank Trinimac, your pack. Got another crisis for you. Interested? Laborers from all over Tamriel have come to Arsinium, eager to carve out a better life. I'm sure I don't need to tell you. It's arduous work. They need hearty meals to stay strong, and there's not enough to go around. Bagrugbush is in charge of the city's food stores. She tells me we're almost out of meat, and we need more in a hurry. Hunt mammoths, bears, any big animal you can find. Also, kill some of those damn poachers. Bagrugbish can give you more details. Take the meat to Bagrugbish when you're done. You'll be well compensated for the effort, I assure you. If you can scrounge up enough stew meat to feed the workers of Orsinium for the next week, you'll have my thanks. If you kill those poachers, though... If you kill those poachers, you'll have my respect. I do. Orsinium's workers can't take time off to go hunting for food. 
So it's up to me to provide it. I want as much meat as you can bring back. Enough to feed them for a week or so. But you aren't going to get it killing rabbits or squirrels. If I were you, I'd focus on bears, a chater, and mammoths. You might be able to carve a gobbet or two off an elk or a horker, but it'll be slow going. Arzorog told you about the other part of this job, didn't she? Yeah, damned poachers are capturing or killing Rockar's game as quick as they can. Some ship it south, others even sell it to the Winterborn. Either way, Orsinium goes hungry. Find those bastards and teach them to keep off our hunting grounds. No pleasure in killing, but I'm glad we're alive and they're not. Mm, good quality there. Ah! If it's not where it dies, we're done. That's sure to leave an impression. My wounds. I'm not sure I can keep going. I'll kill you!
poor thing. to get off my feet. Have you ever had an Orsinium dessert? Say what you will about Snag as a knight in training, but he brought back the most delicious dishes to share from his clan matron. Orc moms do not skimp on the sugar. You're back. From the smell, I'd say you were successful. Am I right? I'm not sure which pleases me more. Either way, the workers get to eat, not a minute too soon. These immigrants bleat like goats when they're hungry. Don't stray too far, all right? I'm sure we'll need more meat soon. Thanks again. Thank Malak... I mean, thank Trinimac, your pack. Got another crisis for you. Interested? If Orsinium is to become the rival of other great cities, we'll need more than buildings. The King wants culture as well. We commissioned a high elf scholar named Kirantiel to deliver some of her books to the city, but her shipment was attacked. Ogres. Apparently they tore the books to pieces. I'll mark their lairs on your map. Kirantil blames one ogre in particular, Mad Urkazbur. She wants him dead and what's left of her books returned. If you want to know more, talk to her. She's just over there. If you manage to reassemble one of those books, take it back to Kirantil. We've no use for books covered in ogre dung. So, you're the gallant adventurer who means to recover my books, hmm? Well, you won't find any of my missing pages in this inn, such as it is. There's barely enough erudition to fill a teacup in here. You should look outdoors. Of course! You realize I'm probably the greatest expert on ogre habits you'll ever meet. The very books they stole are the definitive work on the subject. I doubt there's anything I don't know about the creatures. Uh, how should I know? Really? Do I look like an ogre? I mean... Even the greatest expert can learn something new if she's open-minded enough and keeps her eyes open. Maybe they're aping us, looking at the pages and pretending they can read. Ooh, a fascinating creature. 
The exception that proves the rule? Perhaps he's just a brutish freak, cursed with intelligence above his station. Regardless, he must be slain, and my books must be recovered. Can't have ogres thinking they're people. Isn't the mood over? Can't we have a room now? I'm not sure you're aware of everything that's happened. I can't believe our troops are climbing the shrouded pass. I guess it's the only way to... I assume you found my missing pages. Hand them over and I'll see what I can do with them. Capital! Hmm. The cover's a bit bent and the pages are showing some boxing. Still, I appreciate your efforts. I'll need more of these pages recovered eventually. I did bring several dozen copies of the book, after all. I hope you'll be available. Thank Malik... I mean, thank Trinimac, your pack. Got another crisis for you. Interested? One of our elder shamans insists there's an arcane corruption spreading through the hills and forests of Rothgar. Says it's been stirring up the animals and making them more aggressive. If that's true, this blight will have to be cleansed. This totem should do the trick. Take it. Ushang the Untamed says it has the power to disperse pockets of corruption. Korinthok, the abomination, is behind this. I know it. 
When you eliminate the corruption, eliminate him too. Wu Shang might know more. He's just over there. Wu Shang is eccentric, but he pays well and his totems are always reliable. If you take care of this corruption, I'm sure he'll make it worth your while. The corruption stirs once again. Actually, that may be indigestion. One moment. No, I was right. The corruption has returned. You must cleanse it before it has a chance to spread. Have you not heard about the wailing of the wild? The terror of the trees? The agonies of, of something properly alliterative, but still very, very wild? I may appear to be here simply eating bread, but I am out among the stones and stars as well. Yes. Korinthak the Abomination has woven a web of corruption that reaches out all over Rothgar. He is trying to build up an odious host of terrifying beasts. It's not enough to have hag ravens and harpies as his allies. He wants all of Rothgar's animals as well. Indeed, I do not believe this will completely end the threat of Korinthak the Abomination. He is too well rooted for that. Um, I didn't mean to put it that way, but you do need to search Rothgar for his pockets of evil. Use the totem to cleanse them and kill Korinthak the Abomination. Ah, yes, the cleansing totem. It appears to be nothing more than a wooden charm, I know, but rest assured it is imbued with tremendous power. And once its power is expended, it makes a lovely accent to any table centerpiece. No, no, it's just a simple matter of holding it above the corruption and concentrating. It's vital that you concentrate on cleansing the corruption, though. If you're daydreaming about puppies, it will probably just make a weird sound. Yes, something between a belch and a chipmunk chirp. I'm still working out the kinks. Just focus on cleansing the corruption, all right? Back, fiends. I can keep going.
You need not speak. I feel a great cleansing has occurred. The wild is free of corruption for a time. Actually, it might just be me. I had some really good bread, and that always makes me sleepy. Were you successful? You have done well, but we can ill afford complacency. More corruption will come to threaten the wild. I know it. We must be prepared. I will remain here unless they stop serving this bread. Farewell. Like every good story, your tale just grows in the telling. Thank Malak... I mean, thank Trinimac, your pack. Got another crisis for you. Interested? I've received some troubling reports about worm cult activity in Rothgar. If the worms are here, the King wants them eradicated. I've already consulted with the Redguard priest, Liliame. She says the cultists are trying to summon something. A beast called Zondananaz, the Reborn. That name is well earned. He just won't stay dead. The worms have built a series of obelisks on the frontier. Examine these pillars and kill any cultists you find. Talk to Liliame if you need some guidance. These cultists must be taught that Rothgar is off limits. Once you've crushed their operation, check in with Liliame. Her order will reward you for the effort. Dark clouds swirl overhead once more. I sense that Zandadunaz has returned. Are you prepared to send him back to oblivion? Good. I welcome any assistance you might provide. Moloch Ball's minions must be stopped. The cultists conduct their foul rites near ancient obelisks scattered throughout Rothgar. The obelisk's origins are a mystery to me, shrouded by Malagbal's sorcery. What matters is they value these pillars, mar the stones, and disrupt the rituals. If only such a thing were possible. Zanda Dunaz is immortal. We can only hope that by destroying his physical form, we will break the Worm Cult's hold on Rothgar for a time. This could set them back days, weeks, perhaps years. It is difficult to say. Paying next time we stop for a meal. The alternative is a lot worse.
Destroy me? Such fickle creatures! I can bang the dents from my armor while we're in town. The winds sigh in relief. I trust that you bring good news. Tava, bless you, my child. I shudder at the thought of what that beast and his minions could have done. You have my thanks and my blessing. I trust that Tava's winds will steer you back here when the time is right. For now, go in peace. <laughs> 